Okay, so this video is just going to show you how to reset your display in your Texas Instruments, the TI-BA2+, if that is the one that you're using instead of the HP version that we have in all of our videos. So we show you on your HP how to set up your calculator and clean your display by changing the amount of decimals on the display, by changing from European to North American um, decimal and comma system, and by making sure that your calculator is not in the BEG function. So I'm gonna start with the BEG function here in your calculator to show you if it's set at BEG, how you would check that and change it if you need to. So the shift key that we usually use on our HP is the orange shift key. The equivalent to that is our yellow second function key on our uh, TIBA2+. So that is the one that we're gonna use to sort of get into these other functions quite a bit, quite often. So the first one we're gonna uh, show you how to change and to, to correct and check is the BEGEND. You want the um, interest to be calculating at the end of the period. So you're gonna make sure that it is END instead of BEG. So we're going to press the second function and then we're gonna go to the payment key because it has BG n so begin um, above it and so you notice that it has the word set here above and that's how you actually change from the ending of the period to calculate interest to the beginning of the period so we would use that set function that's up here above the enter so in order to change that we would hit our second function and set and you see that it changed it to bgn so if i exit this you'll see BGN is, is actually on your display and you don't want that, you want it to be in end mode. So you're gonna do the same thing to get out of there. You're gonna hit the second function and begin and then second function and set and you see that it got rid of the BGN that was on the display. So that's the first one. The second one is we wanna make sure that it's in the US, in the North American mode of, you know, um, representing numbers. So we want it to be like this instead of it looking like that. Now if you have it set to European and that's what you're used to, that's fine. Um, but if you have it set to European and you're not used to that, then it's going to make it difficult for you to know whether you entered info in correctly. So you want to make sure that it's set normally, that when we enter 1000, that it's going to look like this top version instead of the bottom version here. So how we do that is we go second function into format and you see that it has the enter key as an option to use and it has the up and down arrows. So we're going to use the up and down arrows until we get to the US and you see that now it has set lit up. So in order to change that from the US North American version to the European version, uh, I hit my second function and set. And you see that it's now changed it. It shows you what it's gonna look like in your display, 1.000 comma 00. That's how it's gonna display $1,000. We don't want that. So if I got out of here, right? and I were to put 1,000 in my PV, that's what it looks like. We don't want that, that's not helpful for most of us. So we're going to go back into second function, format, and then go to our year, because that's what it's set at, so year for Europe. And we're going to hit second function and set to go back to the US version. Okay, so if you wanted to check that, you could hit 1000 into the PV and you see that it now has that beautiful comma there and then the decimal where the pennies are. So we have it set properly. Okay, so that's the second one. And then the display, you notice that it's still at the factory settings. So if you took it out of the package, then you only have two decimals in your display. You want to have the max possible on your calculator. For my calculator, it's eight. Some calculators are different so you might be able to set it to nine. You can give it a shot and give it a try and see what happens. I'll show you what it, what it does on mine, um, but I'll first show you how to set it to eight. So we're going to go again into second function and format. And then you see that it lands us in that decimal sort of question. What do you want to do with this? And you're going to hit eight and then enter. And you see that I now have eight decimals on my display. 
if I want to show you what it's going to do for nine, and if you want to try nine, you're going to hit second and format, and then nine and enter. And you see for me, it takes all of my decimals away and I don't want that because I'm going to get every answer wrong. So I go back in, second, format, eight, enter, and I'm all set to go. Thank you.